London, the final frontier, the concrete jungle. It's a 20 minute drive and then we have a city filled with life, big businesses, flashing lights, two completely different sides, juxtaposed from guns and knives. And that, my friends, is how you become a poet. No, I'm joking. That's from Dave's Fire in the Booth. It's lit though. Yeah, let's get into the video. Cash bank. Cash bank. What's good, YouTube? I'm Nelson Ann Bills, and welcome back to Adulting 101. For those of you who are new to the channel, I talk about an experience that many millennials are going through now, going from the process of being a young adult to becoming an adult adult. Uh, that's moving out of your mum's or your parents' place, paying for bills, getting a mortgage, saving, on this channel, I try and share my experiences, my success stories, and I encourage other people to share with me on Instagram or in the comments your experiences and tips that you're finding because ultimately, your experience of becoming an adult is different from your parents and it'll be different from your kids or the generation that comes after us. So basically, to summarize, this channel is to help all of our experience be easier. Adulting 101 is to help us enjoy the experience of becoming an adult. It's day, I don't even know what day it is, um, but we've been locked down for a long time. Um, I really need Nando's, I'm not gonna lie to you. And people keep challenging me to do some runs and like, listen, if I do any more running, I'm gonna be 2D, I swear to you. Some people have profited from the lockdown. For instance, Zoom, an American communications company, their stock has doubled since we've been in lockdown. Swarm's a UK rapper and now has one million views. And Tory Lanez, I mean, say less about Tory Lanez, he's done his thing. Hi, how you doing? Personally, I've used the extra time to try and make more content, focus on business, and last week, I started learning French. Um, I'll make a video in a few months time to see if I get any good at it. At the same time, missing friends, family, um, I'm tired of cooking, but nonetheless, you know, we thank God I'm not, I'm still alive. I mean, I'm not sick. So we thank God and I'm grateful for that. So thank you very much for everyone who's been watching so far, who's been sharing content on Instagram and, and commenting and liking. And if I could ask, can we please like this video? So it helps with the engagement and it just shows the content to more people on YouTube. So I'm gonna ask 100 likes, or even push the boat further, 200 likes. So if you're watching this video, please hit the like button. In today's video, I'm gonna give you 10 professions that will pay you over $100,000. I know I'm from London, from England, we spend in pounds, so why am I talking about dollars? I'll tell you why. It's widely accepted that if you earn over 80,000 pounds in the UK, you are in the top 5% of earners, right? And 80,000 pounds converts to around $100,000 and 100,000 just it sounds better for the YouTube title. So without further ado, here are 10 professions that will pay you over $100,000 or 80,000 pounds. Let's go. Last thing before we get into the list, I want to be upfront. These are all contract or temporary roles. So you get paid a day rate or and you're on a fixed term contract for maybe one month, two months, three months, 12 months, whatever it is. But I worked um, on one of these contracts and my initial contract was for four months. I ended up staying there for three years and seven months. So um, the instability of it, a lot of the time it isn't as cutthroat as um, it's made to seem. This video might not be for everyone, but if you're watching it, then most likely you will have the, the mindset that you work to fund your lifestyle, right? You wanna go on good holidays, you wanna drive nice cars, whatever it is you're trying to do. Um, but some people, their aspirations for work is to make a difference in society, be the treasury solicitor, the director, the managing director, the overseer of Europe, of the world, um, in a company. And you know, fair play to you lot, but that is, you know, it takes a long time to get there. So when you do eventually get earn over 80,000, 100,000 pounds, you're gonna be like 50 years old. And you know, that's good for some people because they're gonna be fulfilled and that's what's important um, for you, but for probably for people watching this video, we're trying to get that dosh. To compile this list, I've done a job search on a few different job sites 
Um, so these are all roles that are being recruited for right now as of the 22nd of April 2020. And I filtered it by over £100,000 or over £80,000, uh, depending on, on the website. I've gone through the job descriptions and you don't need, like it doesn't require a degree. So these are 10 professions that will pay you over £80,000 with no degree required. From doing this research, what I found was that there's a key word that keeps on coming up, a key theme, and that word is specialist, right? So you can be a generalist, someone who's good at many different things, or you can be a specialist where you are only good at that one thing. Pressing this one button is your job, but you're the best at it, right? And a lot of the time, this requires an additional course. So even if you have a degree in graphic design, you need to specialize in something. So when a big company, most likely you know, most of these will be from big companies or um, rich individuals, which we'll get to, um, when they're looking for that, they're willing to pay for that specialist, right? For that one thing. We have. So the first role I saw is a WordPress developer. So WordPress is a content management system. It's what the Ninebills website is built on. It's what hundreds of thousands of um, companies build their websites on. And what they're looking for is a developer who can specialize in building WordPress and supporting WordPress websites. The pay, Next, a full stack developer paying four to 500 pounds a day. You have experience in HTML, CSS, HTML5, SQL. Python developer. So if the first two weren't specific enough, this is specifically working with a program called Python. So again, it's, it's within the IT sector, but you could go out and pay for a course and do some training to be specialist in doing things with Python. I actually don't know what you do things with Python. If anyone knows, leave a comment down. What do you what do you make on with Python? But if you can do it, it's 500 per day on a one to three month contract. But it says in the description, likely to be extended. Digital marketing. So this is a role, it doesn't actually say the day rate. However, I filtered it by over 80,000 pounds. So you can expect at least 80,000 pounds for this. But it's working on SEO, which is search engine optimization. You type something in and your website comes up at the top. Uh, paid social, so obviously adverts that you see on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, whatever. And paid search, such as uh, pay-per-click PPC. These are all things that Google, it's all open source stuff. If you want to learn how to advertise on Facebook, Facebook will teach you how to do it. If you want to advertise on Google, same thing. LinkedIn, same thing. So if you have the dedication, you have the time, you can literally go to these websites, learn how to do it, and then get paid over £80,000 for it. Project manager. So this can go all the way from 300 to 800 pounds per day. Most companies will be looking for someone who has the PRINCE 2 qualification, which is projects in a controlled environment, PRINCE 2, which is like a waterfall. So you start at the beginning, you know how many bricks there are and how much it's gonna cost and you build your house. Um, also for IT based products and projects, um, there's another methodology called Agile. So there's a separate course for it, still provided by the same Prince2 people. Um, but if you have those two qualifications and you can put together your CV in a way that shows that you can deliver projects, you're in. Another specialist role, a Ruby developer. Again, I don't know what Ruby is. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what Ruby is, but 500 pound a day outside IR35. Um, Wait a minute, IR35, what is that? So you'll notice that all of these roles I'm describing have day rates, yeah, that means they're contract or temporary positions or freelance positions. Um, I actually personally worked in one of these positions where you have a day rate and it was initially for four months and ended up spending three years working there. So I would say don't be too put off by this, the fact it's been termed temporary. There are, um, of course, downsides to it where you don't get paid for sick pay or you don't get paid for uh, maternity leave and things like that. So it's all dependent on your circumstance. And um, yeah, so take that into consideration. But if you're just what, trying to get cash straight away into your bank account, um, for me, I'm 26. So, you know, God willing, we thank God that I'm not ill. I don't have any kids. Um, not thank God I don't have any kids, but like, um, I don't have any reason to come off of work, so most days I was just working anyway. 
uh, except for when I'm on holiday. But when you work for an umbrella company, which again is going further down the line, you do accrue holiday pay. Although you don't get holiday pay at the same rate as you would as a full-time permanent employee, you do accrue holiday pay. And um, of course you get the benefits of an inflated day rate. So when I said about IR35, it's inland revenue. So like HMRC people, inland revenue and then the press release was 35, so they kept it IR35. Basically what it is, is they don't want people to be uh, limited companies. So a lot of the time when you're contracting, you'll set up as a limited company, but you're the only person in the company. Um, by all other means, you're an employee, right? But you're not paying the same taxes. You're just getting a day rate. And then at the end of the year, you pay for your travel, you pay for all your expenses, then you pay tax on what's left over. And most uh, directors uh, who have been screwed over now due to the coronavirus, they declare themselves um, as earning 10,000 pounds in the year, where really they've earned 100, do you know what I mean? So they don't pay taxes on 100,000 pounds, but on 10. So IR35 was a legislation brought in that was due to go into the private sector and go into everywhere in 2020, but obviously due to the circumstances, it's been pushed back a year. So when I say outside IR35, it means you can still work as a limited company and collect the whole day rate and pay taxes on whatever you declare your salary is. Back to the thingy. Data scientist. Yeah, me too. Um, but a data scientist from what I've read is someone who can look at large bits of data and use software to extract that data and find commonalities between them to predict trends of what people are gonna do. 450 a day, it's not bad. Business analyst, 550 per day. So again, you don't need to go to university to learn how to be a business analyst. I actually know someone who does a course and trains other people to be business analysts and they start on like 400 pound a day. Um, but a business analyst is basically someone who looks at processes and uh, things that happen within the business and find inefficiencies and sort of present how to fix them. Now here are a few roles that you wouldn't have thought and they were actually surprising to me. A nanny, get this, five grand a month. You have to live with the family. It's in like St. John's Wood, so quite an expensive area in London. And you have to speak Mandarin and English. Um, but still, five grand a month, private tutor, working evenings and weekends, 60 pounds per hour. Again, these will be for uh, kids who are in special schools. So you probably need to be pretty smart to be able to tutor these kids. They might be smarter than you. So you know, I wouldn't take this one too lightly. But yeah, 60 pound an hour, do as many hours as you can, rake it in. This one was my favorite, to be honest. And like, if things go tits up, this is the job that I will be doing. PowerPoint designer, 450 per day. If you're a specialist in it, there's money to be made. Similarly, I see a job, keynote designer. So keynote is like um, Apple's equivalent or rival to PowerPoint, it's the same thing. But if you can design good keynote decks, you will be paid for it in the region of 400 pounds per day. Or one, a copywriter. So a copywriter is essentially someone who puts together and writes the content that goes in uh, brochures and magazines and things that you'll see um, online. This role that I've seen is working for agencies, so you won't be writing for Vogue or someone specific. It'll be for a number of different uh, clients, but for 500 pounds a day, you better get your pen ready. Get them wrists, them wrists. Active, get that in your way. Active, five bills a day. Again, this is a UI slash UX, so user interface and user experience designer. Uh, you need skills in Sketch, Photoshop, and After Effects. No requirement for a degree in graphics. So you know how to do this stuff, you can get paid 550 per day. So once I edit this video, I'm gonna find out exactly how many roles that was, but literally that was a few hours of me searching. And if you have the dedication and your mindset is work to fund your lifestyle, then it's well worth spending some time, spending a bit of money, and learn how to be a specialist in one of these. Guala, 100 bags, yeah? $100,000 or 80,000 pounds. Put yourself in the top 5%, buy yourself a nice car, get yourself a sweet honey, you know, do what you need to do. I'd appreciate if we could get 200 likes. If any of these roles have inspired you, if you're looking for uh, some training or some courses on there, um, let me know, I can have a look for you. 
um, my friend that does the business analyst training I can put you in contact with him obviously he'll pay me a little no, I'm joking I don't know if he will but yeah I'll put you in touch with him yeah. hit the like button subscribe um, leave a comment uh, follow me on Instagram tune in thank you thank you thank you